So, ladies and gentlemen, ah, we need to remember our system solving by elimination, right? So previously we worked on, you know, using our substitution. But what I want to do, Jenna, is we're going to maybe follow some steps. And I, what I do is I left these steps up there for if you guys forgot, you can write them down and we can use them to follow solving our system by using elimination. So to solve using elimination, remember what we're going to do is we're just going to follow some steps. And what we want to do, we can use elimination when we make sure that we have our variables have the exact same coefficients in front of them. They don't have the same coefficient from them, we're going to have to manipulate them. But for this problem, we want to look at which variable has the exact same coefficient, regardless of the sign. So I look at here and I notice both of my x's both have a 3. I know their signs are different, but they both have a 3, right? So therefore, they have the same, coefficient, the same number as their coefficient. For the y's, those do not have the same coefficient. Ethan, you're going to have to turn your desk so you can look up here. Okay. So therefore, you have 2 and negative 5. Those are not the same. But here, we have the same coefficient. So when you have the same coefficient for your variable, we can use elimination. Now the next thing is, we need to look at what are the signs of those coefficients. If the coefficients are exactly the same, when they're exactly the same, we're going to use elimination of subtraction. But when the signs are opposite signs, we're going to use elimination by addition. So if you look at this, I have a positive 3 and a negative 3. All right. So therefore, they're opposite signs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate these equations by adding, okay? So what you're simply going to do is add the two equations, all right? Do you have, do you have paper for it? Right now. So therefore, I have 3x minus, or 3x plus a negative 3x is going to provide me 0x. 2y plus negative 5y will provide me a negative 3y, and negative 19 plus positive 25 is going to provide me 6. Okay. Now, obviously, you guys notice what happens when we have 0 times anything? It goes to 0, right? So what we say is we just eliminated our variable. So now I have a negative 3y equals 6. So ladies and gentlemen, remember what we're talking about systems, right? And I'm saying, hey, find the, find the solution of the system. What that means is all right, where our two equations you know, are going to sh you know, share a point. Where they're, um, and we looked at that on the graphs is where the two lines intersected, right? They share a common point. So here, what I do is I now just need to solve for my y. So to solve for y, divide by negative 3 on both sides. Now I get y equals negative 2. So I found the value or the value of the y coordinate of where these two lines intersect is at negative 2. So now I need to find the value of x. So since I know y equals negative 2, I can substitute negative 2 in for the y variable. And it doesn't matter which one you pick to solve for x. I usually don't like to deal with the negative, so I'm going to plug negative 2 in for y into the top equation. So I have 3x plus 2 times negative 2 equals negative 19. Well now, ladies and gentlemen, we just can solve for x. So I have 3x plus or 3x minus 4 equals negative 19. Yes, question or what? Okay. So you just take your negative 2, plug it in for your y, and then evaluate it. Um, now, just to solve for x, guys, it's just like working a uh, two-step equation. Undo subtraction of 4 by adding 4 to the other side. 3x equals a negative 15. Divide by 3. x equals negative 5. Therefore, I know that y equals negative 2, x equals negative 5 is going to be the solution of your two equations. All right? So therefore, my final answer is going to be 5 comma negative 2 if I wanted to write it as a coordinate point. Right? Remember coordinate point, we're dealing with the graphing, that's where the two lines intersect. It is a little bit of work.